Okay, so this is my video on how to undercoat. So I'm doing this as a kind of a, a newbie thing, really. So if um, you are new to model making or Warhammer or whatever, um, you might feel tempted to just paint straight onto your model. Um, however, what it's best to do is get down a base coat. And frequently one of the most efficient ways to do that is by using sprays. Now, what you've got to watch for is there's lots of different sprays on the market. And what you've got to do is be very careful and make sure that the spray paint that you're getting is an acrylic undercoat, okay, or a primer. Because um, otherwise, you're going to end up with a very thick, heavy coat on your miniatures that will eat away the detail. So I'll first by starting off by showing you what is not an undercoat. So, I've got my high gloss it says white it's actually black because <laughs> uh, i think the brand obviously anyway so this is a black you can see i've got a bit of a spray on it as i've gone along you can see that it's very uh, glossy tacky kind of black so that is definitely not something we want to use on a miniature uh, then you get things like this uh, ac acrylic again it's i mean don't get me wrong i love this paint it's absolutely gorgeous you know, when it's properly on something, it does actually look really good. But again, it is not a primer. So you can't just go and grab any spray paint that you see and decide to use it because some things are better. Now, here we go. Now we start getting to actual undercoats. So uh, I've got three different ones here. So I've got a silver, a black, and a Mechanica Standard Grey from Citadel, that's Games Workshop's one. Anyway, so going on from there. Um, now, sometimes I have white undercoat, but I don't have the moment because I just haven't really found a particular use for white undercoat in a while. Um, in fact, a recommendation of one of the guys at Games Workshop was actually use grey. And I'll go into that in a second. So, here's my mini. Yeah, as you can see, it's got a very grey plastic color to begin with and as a result some people like to go black and you use black if you want very dark shades so building up from a very black it's great to get shadows on however I tend to find with black is you're applying a lot more layers as a result of it okay then you get things like a silver so if you're doing like a very um, metallic army so say things like necrons then you know you want to go for something like this to begin with you know just get the silver on there and then use shades to get the dark you know the dark recesses in and i've used that i used that on some gray nights recently and it made a really good effect as a base coat anyway so going on from there so why am i using mechanica standard gray on these well i'm going to use mechanica standard on these because i attend myself to prefer putting my my shades and my recesses on second i don't want to be fighting against a black shade because then you've got a very deep shadow that you're trying to lighten up as you go on the contrary if you start out with say a white uh, base color you're trying to fight to put too much color in the shade as you go along and I find that that is why these work rather well, these sort of grey tones. So thank you to the guy in Games Workshop, Warrington, who get, you know who actually advised me using this. Um, fantastic advice there. Go into your local Games Workshop and they'll come up with some good ideas for you. Right, so let me show you how to start your basing. So make sure you're in a nice area place. I'm in my garden. Make sure you have a good area to work in. And then just, you want to move in a kind of very straight motion. So watch the, you say, so don't try and spray one aggressively. Go like that in long. I found that always works best. And then I start off by spraying top down. And you can see I'm not overdoing it. I'm trying to get a good even coat. 
Now, obviously, at the moment, what's happening is I'm only coming from the top and I'm not quite getting in from underneath. So what I'll be doing is obviously letting these dry a bit. Now, the good thing is about found about this grey is that it dries really fast, even in, even in the cold weather that we're having in the UK at the moment. It seems to dry quite fast. I don't know, maybe it's just freezing. <laughs> anyway, um, try and make sure as well that you lift your miniatures very quickly after you spray them, because otherwise they will stick to whatever, you know, you are spraying into. Okay, so, this is the thing now. Because I'm using grey on grey, it's hard to tell if it's actually um, got everywhere. But... If you turn it upside down, sorry, my camera just does not want to focus. There we go. It's actually not undercoated underneath, and I can see that it's like a slightly different shade of grey. So unfortunately, this is the bit where you've then got to kind of twist their positioning a bit. Now, again, after I spray this, I'm going to stand these guys up very, very quickly. I'm also trying to sit them in a way that means that I can get under key areas such as arms and heads and necks. Okay, again, but I'm going to do the same thing again, but this time, same direction, but... There we go. And I'm getting every single direction now, and I'm trying to not overdo it, because as I said, you're going to end up with just an absolute mess on your hand of big thick layers so i find that this is the best way to get a basic base coat down nice and quick and smooth um now i've promised myself in a lot of ways because i'm supposed to be doing this as a how-to i'm actually going to try and paint these without my airbrush which i'm not really happy with but i'm gonna have to try and do it uh, which means that i'm actually gonna have to paint in every single shadow you can see there i've got like You'll, you'll notice that when you're done with one angle, you need to turn them and try and get in a different angle. Because otherwise you're not going to get everywhere. Uh, so this is it, unfortunately. It's just about making sure you've got everywhere. Um, you can buy specialist equipment. But again, I don't want to be using any of my specialist spraying equipment today. Because I, I just feel like I'll be cheating on what is supposed to be a... A new introduction to how to spray paint so I'm actually doing this in a way that I don't normally like uh, which is individually positioning each model and then kind of twisting them normally I'd use uh, you know special ways to get into them <laughs> right, so that's it though. That's how you go about undercoating your first miniatures. And as you can see, you know, I think I've done a good job there. I've got the um, the colour applied. It's not lost any of its detail. And as I said, because I've used the grey, it means I've got a bit of a shadow to begin with that I can work with. And I've promised myself that I am going to, to do this um, and uh, I've got a good set of brushes, but I'm basically going to do this using uh, standard Games Workshop paints that you get. Um, obviously, I'm going to use some of my own special ones because I want them to look in a particular way. But other than that, that is how you get going. So there we go. That's how you should be doing your first time to learning how to spray.